Hey guys, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. This is part two, so this is a simple voiceover for the first part of this gameplay. We start out by finding Shadow Heart, and we ask her about her little device. She decides to come with us, and then we move up a little bit further. We find Losir, and he's been, he's passed on, but we take all of his glorious loot, and then we find out that the ship ran into a uh, some fishermen, poor souls, we loot all their crap. And we all row with the spray upon our necks. And we all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. And the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask to sail your skirt, if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. <clears throat> wave mother, wave mother, our skulls are yours, with brine and sand to fill. Souls away and anchors still, the wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll, we'll wait gladly years and days, till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho! She told us so. Hey ho, she told us. Okay, moving on from there, we continue to explore up the beach, and we find some more dead fishermen, loot some barrels, and we find our first waypoint. So these purple waypoints are indicators that we can tra fast travel back to this point. Uh, we find one more of these later. Uh, we check this door, and it's totally locked, and then we... Um, decide to explore f deeper into the shipwreck and we find some enemies and we just time lapse through this battle this is our first battle outside of the ship and it was fairly challenging it wasn't too bad but um, for our first battle I was pleasantly surprised uh, the combat in this game is a lot of fun it's very tactical as a CRPG you know your unit positioning and we beat the crap out of these little brain characters continue to loot 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 okay now we're moving outside the shipwreck for a minute going up the beach found a locked chest back there. I was trying to find maybe a dead body that had a key, but I didn't find anything. So we moved on. Found somebody with some good loot. Now here we find a, the, the gake that put the mind flare, or the, the mind flare that put the uh, tadpole in our head. And make, it gives us an opportunity to make a few decisions here. Um, I try to be furious, but then he infiltrates my mind and makes me feel sorry for him anyways, or makes me hate myself. Um, I run an intelligence roll uh, to try and infiltrate his head, and she utterly fails at that. I refuse to take uh, blame for that one. <laughs> um, so we fail the roll and then um, put him out of his misery just like that and now we're done with the ship we're out um, looting some dead bodies presumably these guys died from the shipwreck as well and here's a portal and this is where we decide to touch the portal even though it warns us that it's probably uh, dangerous and Out pops a hand and we pull him through using our strength roll pull him through that's it keep pulling and we uh, we meet this wizard named Gale and um, he seems fairly pathetic 
But um, we find out that he was on the ship as well, the Nautiloid. He's also got uh, a tadpole in his brain. So we decide to join up. And, uh, and then uh, I decided to go ahead and cash in my level ups. Since there's no enemies around, so everybody had a level up. I get to choose his spells, which is nice. Alright, and um, back to time-lapsing the exploration of the environment here. Moving up a mountain. Looting as much as I can. I find this uh, shovel and I dig out a chest. And some fire amber was in there. Right, and then we come around to these horny guys and we loot their bodies. Now, here's a group of individuals. We don't know anything about them. Looks like they might be arguing or something, but once we come in here, we're introduced with a small cinematic and they're basically bandits um, with a boss and then he comes around and we run a Githyanki um, response to what he says, um, which I don't remember if I said it last time, but anytime it gives me a Get the Yankee option, um, I'm going like full on Get the Yankee for this playthrough, so I always pick that one. Um, so that's what I pick eventually. And he gives us some crap about me here to claim it. And this guy calls me a freak, which is uh, not very nice. And we fight. I'm um, just time lapsing through this battle real quick because um, I'm still kind of getting used to the game and I'm pretty slow in battles, so I'll probably do this for some of the other battles that I do as well until I get more efficient with it. But, uh,. We had a couple close scares with this battle, but uh, everybody made it through just fine. The wizard has this lightning attack that I really like. It creates like a, a chain lightning, and then every turn he has the option to apply damage through this chain of lightning. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a cool mechanic. Um, Okay, and here's where we end the battle with uh, the Clericasts. One last spell on her, and then we do a rest. I went, went to camp and I rested up. This is my first time resting, so I had to learn about it a little bit. But um, I was finally able to learn what all these supplies that I've been collecting are for. <laughs> so every time that you do a long rest, you have to consume these supplies. Uh, I think because I have three party members, I consume 40 points of supply. I assume that the amount of, of party members uh, are dictated by... Uh, I, I mean, I assume that the amount of supplies that are consumed are dictated by the party members, but I'm not sure. Okay. And we rest. So then we're back to these ruins. I come to this locked door, but I'm greeted with somebody on the other side, and we run some deception on him to uh, let him lie to him and let him know that the guys that were out here before triggered a trap, and that uh, he needs to come help. And despite my terrible charisma, we save this roll with a score of 18 to 10, and. Um, he lets us inside and we open up a can on him. It doesn't take too long to take this guy out. And that guy had a key. I'm not sure what that key was for yet. But uh, he had a key on him. 
and that's where we left off and um, so uh, from there I was able to get the audio working so the rest of this will switch back to um, real-time recording <clears throat> Securing. Uh, provisions here on the table. No more prayers. Only silence. Must be lonesome to be a forgotten god. Who are those prayers for? Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. Not sure why I need quill and ink, but uh, take it till we figure out what it's for. Can of milk that might be useful later. I'm sure, I can use that in my camp, right? Um, if I can learn spells from books or if it's just lore either way it's Ancient worth taking indecipherable text covers the plaque a dead tongue whoever worshipped here must be long gone hmm It's a bit ominous, isn't it? Well, let's see what's over here. Just so. Door and a lever. Me think that perhaps I could blow it up. Let's turn it on here. Yeah, why can't you run past the door? Can you jump past the door? sword out. Put that away. There you go. Concentrate. Gail, bro, you're in the way, man. Oh, 
miss. Come on. Let's activate that. That looks like it's going to explode if I hit it. I ain't going home empty handed again. I hear you're talking. There's people behind these doors, so let's explore everything else first. First door, then. Hello, anybody home? Mm, worth examining. somewhere. Consider me you can't seat. really position them. Back up. Clear off. We got here first. Okay, that was lucky. Good start, excellent. Let's also cast this. I do not want to go through that door. I want you to hide right here. Hit anybody that comes through. Just gonna cast spells on these guys as they come through. She's gonna take a lot of damage right now, though. This is excellent. Finish your turn or what? Why that had to 
take so long, but okay. jump right back here out of the way of those arrows and spellcasters like I'm wasting a turn there, but I'm trying to uh, have an, a little bit of an element of surprise. I don't want him to move into range of these uh, ranged attackers, so he's basically just going to sit here. In fact, why am I? Why not? Miss me. <laughs> oh. Ow, that hurt a lot. I will ascend. you jump a little further away so you're just out of melee range <clears throat> make that guy take a make a decision on who he's gonna attack Finish this guy already. Great. Uh, maybe we 
should try... If I get closer to her... It says the range is 18 meters. This I should be able to heal. But I don't have a level 1 weapon. Uh, a spell slot. That's the problem. Let's just cast this again. Oh, good. He didn't dodge it that time. She's still mostly out of range. So, be happy with that. <clears throat> Get a few more hit points. Please finish that guy. Goodness. Miss me. Alright, who else is in here? Is it just you? So it's just you, I'll just charge it. I think it's just you. Okay, let's activate dash. Let's run all the way in here so I don't block the doorway. Maybe back here. Well, we're not in melee range. At least not without a movement action. Anyways. Can you attack? Yes you can. Let's do that. Nice. Give you a shove as well. Back off. Can you get into casting range? Doesn't look like it. Step by step. Two of you up to here. Just great. Really? Make I can't way. hit her if I move here. Was a, that was a tough one. It's been a long day. <laughs> I just stop to rest soon. <sighs> that was the third time I tried that battle. I I got lucky a few times, but the key was definitely to force them to come through that door and use uh, some hiding techniques. That that worked pretty well. Very cool. Can we get rid of? In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her, her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, 
when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment. She waited for the Lady of Lost to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instructions in her ear. No guidance preferred itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going, and still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kelamore pitied her as much as the Lord of Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn, that not of forgetting, but being forgotten. Hmm. Chapel records and a plaque. Curious. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Drowning, internal rot, fever. Gorby Tipple. Ivan Arkinson. Devrin Stout. Okay. Do you not recognize the language on the plaque? More undefined language. That might be worth a look. What did that do? I must have opened our door that we were looking for. Okay, we need to save here. stop in town, reset my inventory, and come back to this.
So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. When I come back, I will have a reset inventory because I will have gone to town. And then we will explore this dank crypt.